We're back at working on the propeller shaft, and Mirko brought this cool induction heater. We're trying to heat up the shaft coupler to remove the shaft. So Mirko's in there. I'm not sure what he's doing, but the propeller's coming out. Pull out all the way? Yes. All right. <laughs> Here is our uh, cutlass bearing. You can see it definitely needed to be replaced. So now we got to remove the old one. Probably won't be this easy, but give it a shot. Oh, it, seems, it seems pretty brittle, it just kind of snaps. Got more tools here though. All right, I think first we actually gotta take this thing off. Hopefully it's just the hose clamps. Aha, got it off. It's like kind of threaded, that seems to be the trick. That's kind of satisfying. Yeah, yeah. Ah, beautiful. Oh, we can reuse that. We'll take it to the machine shop, have them refurbish it. So this, I guess, just goes in the tube. And now we're uh, putting the new cutlass bearing into the shaft log with this tool that my friend Mirko made. I think I'm gonna pull the heater off actually now too. That's interesting, it looks like a lot of corrosion around the exhaust. Actually, like, this used to come off super easy. Even the intake's full of that kind of corrosion stuff. Should be lost now. So there it is. There's like all that stuff there. So tell me what's going on here. Why is it get? Why is this happening to my diesel heater? I only use this thing for a couple of months. I think it'd be fun to take this thing apart, see what it looks like. Maybe I could even clean it out and use it again. I don't know. A lot of sand in there. Next project is to tidy up this mess of wires. I think I can get that looking nice. And one of these wires is this light and fan. And it's messed. If you wiggle it, sometimes it comes on. So let's see if I can figure out. Oh, I think it's this guy here. I think if I could maybe splice in some new wire there, I might be able to fix that. Ah, there's another electrical disaster. My boat has almost burned down many times because it's the original electrical system, I think. If you have a Cape Dory with original electrical system, rip it out and replace it. I should have just taken every wire off this boat when I bought it. it started fresh. So getting the old wiring out is such a pain in the butt. They actually fiberglassed it on the inside of the liner. That's the Cape Doherty standard of quality. I'm going to try these, uh, I don't know what you call them, the wire connectors. Um, they look kind of cool. You like put them in here and then you heat, heat it up and then it solders and heat shrinks them all, all in one. So there's like two heat shrinks and a little a little ball of solder in there. Pretty strong. Pretty strong. So I'm starting to get the hang of these. Um, I found to, to get the solder to really melt good, you have to basically heat it up so much that it kind of compromises the uh, the heat shrink. So I'm I'm doubling up and putting one more layer of marine grade heat shrink on top, just for belt and suspenders. Okay, so moment of truth. I unwired the heater and plug it there. Looks like it's good. Nice to have all that light in here again. This little video light's pretty cool too. Um, I just need to tidy up this wires, and I think I'm really gonna take my time and get it nice and tucked in there since I don't see anything, any new electronics going in for a minute. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I was actually able to fit all those wires and just tuck them up out, out of the way. It looks so good. So much neater than it's ever, this boat's ever looked. And everything, well, most of the lights work. The three lights up forward over here uh, are still not uh, working because there was another short. Um, I might be able to fix that later, but eh. 
probably for another day. My mom's been getting really into like dehydrating food, so I'm gonna try out some of this uh, just so I can figure out the kind of technique for cooking it. I think she said you need to kind of soak it in water for a little bit first. She also made me a whole bunch of other different things to try. So, that's pretty cool. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The uh, Traveler needs to come off because this side's been leaking. So just pull it up and put some sealant underneath there. See where it's coming in. Yeah, there's not much uh, sealant in there. A little bit. Clean that up. Now let's clean up this backing plate a little bit. Good as new. Okay, this piece is cleaned up. I'm gonna put some beetle tape on it. It's kind of cold, so I have it sitting next to the heater, so it'll be nice and easy to work with. There we go. Plenty of the sticky stuff. I'm running a little low on that, but I can find that. Some on the screws too. Yeah, this thing was all green it's coming back and i'm gonna clean all that mold and stuff back there next clean out this thing i have been using this to store food i don't use it as a cooler but just to store like food but i think what i'm gonna do is use this to store all the like engine parts and stuff and like stuff i never really need to use all the spare parts uh, and then i can just leave uh have all my food like back here and um i can have the stove like kind of mounted on this table so uh, since I won't be needing to get in there very often. Uh, so I'm going to install, reinstall this piece of uh, fit, fiddle, I guess, um, on the counter. But I'm going to cut it off here because the problem is when these engine steps are out, you always have to go up and down and you need a place to put your foot. So I'm going to cut this off and then I use the spare pieces to put little cleats around the stove so that can stay, you know, nice and braced in there. looks pretty good so I have to heal pretty far over for that to fall off although I'm sure it will eventually I got to put one of my new stickers on the pickled herring it says pickled herring sailing yacht pickled herring I've also got these Sam home sailing ones I'm gonna do one of those there too that's where the in reach will go I think right there is good It's now spring cleaning time on the pickled herring. There's been a lot of mold growing over the my passages and then just the boat sitting over winter. Certainly not perfect, but a lot better than before. Now I've tackled this. So now I'm on to cleaning these hatches. I mean, these have been dirty since the day I bought the boat. Now we are on to cleaning out the four peak. It's kind of dirty in here. Looking a lot better. I had like used this lashing system to mount my toilet bucket, but it never really worked too good. I really want this to be like really nice and st sturdy when I'm sitting on it and like a seaway and stuff. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and, and screw it in from the bottom. Um, I almost al always use it with a, with a liner anyway, so this bucket can, just, bucket can stay here permanently. Oh man, that's so much sturdier. So now I can get rid of these purple 3D printed things and these uh, lashings just to kind of clean it. I also added a, uh, this bar across here that supports the front of the toilet and being bolted down with that thing, it's so sturdy now. Oh man, I think that's going to be fix all the problems there. Now I'm on to cleaning the uh, the mold on the, uh, the caulking. I probably will replace this caulking eventually. Maybe a pro project to do while I'm at sea. Cleans up not too bad. In this area, some of it's so bad though. That's looking awesome. What a difference. This winch 
it's completely seized up. I should probably just take these uh, apart before before winter because this little stainless middle thing is just like it's, it gets so stuck on this aluminum part. Yeah, these are not supposed to be connected together like this. This is supposed to come off separately than this middle piece. Um, Mirko gave me this stuff. He said it worked pretty good in getting the prop shaft, helping to get the prop shaft coupler off. Oh man, it's been a few months. I'm gonna try to carbonate some uh, pineapple juice. I've heard bad things happen. Can you do this? But I have to try it for myself. Let's see if we get an explosion. Okay. If you don't have a CO2 tank on your boat, you don't know what you're missing. It's like a 40 pound tank. I think it'll last a lifetime. This is, this is where things go bad. Not too bad. It would have gotten foamy if I'd filled it all the way. Hey, it worked pretty good. That's delicious. This island in Orest has a really cool nature preserve. I've been going for walks here in between projects. Pretty nice. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully we're getting near the end of the projects and pickled herring can go back in the water soon. Um, actually though, uh, in the next video, I'm gonna do a little side trip to Norway to do some sailing with a friend. Um, I'm waiting for some parts to come so that kind of works out real nice. And then uh, when we get back, I'll just we'll wrap up the, the kind of work we need to get pickle sailing again and then we'll start doing the sailing videos. So I'll see you guys then.